today's episode, we're going to look at some cheaper LED alternatives for lighting up your toy photography. Hey guys, if you've watched my show, you know I love using flashes in my photography. Um, I, I actually am a professional photographer. My wife and I have a business called Burns Exposures, hence the name Toy Exposures on this channel, but it took several years to learn how to master flash photography. And on top of that, flashes are expensive. Uh, this guy's the Godox V862. I think these guys run about 180 bucks each. And then you have adapters. You have, you know, Magmod grids, which I love to use. It really limits your light, lets you control it. I have mag gels, which let you change color quickly and easily. They snap on magnetically, but this costs money. It's very expensive, and on top of that, the learning curve to learn how to do all this, it takes time. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to do some toy photography, but we're gonna use cheaper alternatives. And we're gonna start with a mini LED. This is from eMart. It's an Amazon uh, purchase I got for, I think, $19.99. I'll, I'll double check before I actually post a little screenshot. Look at that, four different light settings. You cannot turn a dial to adjust fine tune lighting. But for what you're wanting to do for your toys, works perfect. Choose a light setting that works for you. Pull it back, push it forward, get it stronger, get it softer. It's a, just a real good tool to use in your toy photography. And the cool thing about these guys, they're waterproof. You throw them under water, throw them in a fish tank. You can also add gels, which come with them for free, all for $19.99. It even comes with a mini tripod, which is what you see here. The tripod that I currently have this one on, I got at Walmart on clearance for $3. So we're going to utilize these today. And the picture we're going to do, we're going to use a Hydra Soldier. And I got a question a while back after one of my videos is, where did you get Hydra Bob? Well, Hydra Bob, one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe, I actually picked up the Deadpool Corpse scooter set for one reason. I want you to look right there. See that? That is Hydra Bob's head. It comes with this set. I bought it for that. I have my Hydra Army Builders, which I got from HasbroPulse.com. These guys retail for $14.99 each, I believe. So we're gonna do a quick shot with Hydra Soldiers, Hydra Bob, and we use nothing but LED lights. So let's explain what we have here. I took an old air filter out of my furnace. It's filthy, need to change, so I got it because it's, it's dirty, it's got cool metal lines in it, it's got a cool pattern on it. I have my first LED as my backlight with a green filter on it because it's Hydra Soldiers, so of course you want to throw some green in there. I have another LED stacked up on top of a Modoc toy um, using a few of my pallets to angle it just right. I throw a few pallets on the ground just in case they pop into the picture, but I don't think they will. I um, also use my dumpster back here in case it needs a little background to it, but I don't think it's going to at the angle I'm going to shoot. As for my soldiers to get their poses, I used this blue tacky tape. Dollar Tree, one dollar. You get this tacky tape, it keeps your feet in place, it keeps your figure standing up for your photography. There's nothing worse than finally getting set and you bump into a table or the wind blows and everything falls over. So uh, definitely invest in one dollar blue tacky tape at uh, Dollar Tree. So I have my camera. We're not gonna be using any atmosphere aerosol for this. We're not gonna be using any special effects. I'm just gonna use a, uh, my Nikon V6. You can use your iPhone, your Android phone. Uh, you'll get a very similar result. I'm just gonna get a crisper, better picture with my Z6, so I do like using my camera. Um, yeah, and the only other thing I did was we changed out a Hydra Soldier's head for Bob, and I also took my Gwenpool, who came with a little cell phone, and I used the blue uh, tacky tape again to hold the cell phone in Bob's hand, and we're gonna take a picture and see what we can get. So now we've taken our photo, I want to drop it over in the Lightroom, do a few edits, and then uh, pop it up on the screen. All right guys, I hope you were able to see how important lighting is to your toy photography, but also that you don't need thousands of dollars to make it look great. 20 bucks a light. These things are great. They're eMart. They're made are sold on Amazon. I'm going to put the link down at the bottom of the ones I bought. So you guys can invest, 
and start really adding a little pop of color to your uh, toy photography. So until next time, this is Jeremy saying, click subscribe. I need as many viewers and subscribers as I can get. Also, tag me in some photos. Let me see what you guys are creating, especially if you're using the e-marks. Show me, hashtag toy exposures, at toy exposures on Instagram and Facebook. So until next time, guys, happy photography and happy collecting. See ya.